Hi everyone, ciao a tutti. This is Lisa Morales. I am the editor of Live in Italy magazine. We're going to try something different this month and give you a video update of what to expect in the May issue of our magazine. The email newsletter goes out next week. If you're not receiving it, please remember to subscribe to our website. This month, we chatted with Niall and Patti, who gave up their highly successful law careers in Dubai to buy an agriturismo and winery in Montepulciano. Don't miss reading about their journey. And for anyone who has some interest in purchasing a one euro home or any of the people who actually have emailed us, messaged us, I'll be sure to reach out to you directly. Don't miss reading Christine, our travel editor's interview with a representative from a comune in Sicily. There are some homes available and we've tried to make it as transparent as possible. You'll enjoy finding some real answers uh, to what's involved with buying a one year old home. What else do we have? We have some great pasta recipes for spring that you might want to try at home written by Natalia who is one of our newest writers based in Scotland. Our top eight is a feature that we, uh, Adriana, who writes the article, seek out uh, some of our most recent Instagram followers and we give them a shout out. We put their handle there, we put, provide a description of uh, their business and what region they're in. So as tourism picks up, it's really important to support local, to get off the beaten path. We highly encourage that. That's part of your authentic travel experience. I lay some background on Live in Italy magazine. We began at the end of 2020 uh, during the pandemic and we have grown quickly. We greatly appreciate all of our subscribers, our followers, the people who send us messages, comment under our articles, comment on the YouTube videos. All of those things really help keep us motivated. We are a team of volunteers uh, committed to the Live in Italy magazine project and we greatly value and count on your support. If you can, please consider a donation on Patreon. It could be again with the price of a cup of coffee. All of these things, including sponsorship, uh, help to keep the engines running and keep our writers doing what they love to do, which is to write and travel in Italy. We are also thankful for the sponsors and the people who've believed in us to date. If you see a uh, wine promotion and things like that, just know that people in the food and wine se sector do understand our cause and have advertised. Uh, so we hope to get their message out, but are also thankful that they, they believe in what we do. So thank you again, and we'll see you next month in June. If you like this format of the newsletter, you know, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.